All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. I hope you caught the morning thoughts video. Uh, and I hope you caught the video that came after that this morning, talking about the Jamaican school teacher that recently got killed and a bunch of other stuff in that video that I feel is very important for us to discuss. Now, don't mind the sweating. I just come from the gym. I get a good workout. It's Friday. Yeah. So I had to go extra hard. Now, check it. In, if you are in somebody's life and you are not making them happy, or, well, you can't make anybody happy, but if you're not bringing happiness to people's life, right, you owe it to yourself. Listen carefully. Cause every Friday, every Friday I do a video where I say surround yourself with people that love you and people that you love, right? And some people, I think, not getting it. The number one killer is stress. People ask me how. I see a lot of people dying from heart attack and all this other stuff. Yeah, it starts with stress, okay? The number one killer is stress. So, if you keep stress in your life and keep stress around you, stress equals no sleep or improper sleep or interrupted sleep, improper rest. The body needs rest, proper rest to rejuvenate, right? Stressed out is heavy on the internal organs, especially the heart muscle, because the heart is a muscle. And before you know it, all kinds of other things develop. People up late at night from being stressed out, what do they do? They eat late, they drink late. The body doesn't get a chance to rejuvenate. And next thing you know, what comes after? Cardiac arrest. Arteries getting blocked. All this kind of stuff. So stress is the number one killer. I don't know if you knew that, but it is so. So don't keep stress around you. And if you are the person... If you notice you're around somebody and you're not making them happy or you're not bringing happiness to them then, then you owe it to yourself and you owe it to them to subtract yourself from that situation, right? Because if, you, if somebody is not happy around you, people feed off energy, whoever you keep around you. So if me and you chilling all the time together and every time I come around, around this beer negativity and every time I come around this beer argument, Every day we argue or every other day we argue. That's a toxic relationship. Whether it's a husband and wife relationship. Whether it's a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Whether it's just platonic friends relationship. Because I know friends that hang out with each other. They group up and hang out. And it's stressful to them. It's stressful to them because they're always arguing and disagreeing and disagreeing res disrespectfully. You know what I'm saying? If you're not around people who you can be in harmony with, you don't have to agree with everything the people around you are saying. And they don't have to agree with everything you are saying. But the mood has to be that it doesn't cause your chest to tighten and your blood pressure to spike. You see that constant spiking in blood pressure, spiking in blood pressure, spiking in blood pressure. Believe it or not, it happens without you even notice it. I, as a parent, right now it's summertime and I got all my kids around me, right? And I got five of them. So you can't imagine, I'm a neat freak also, so I like my house clean. So you can't imagine me trailing behind, especially the 11 and 12 year old. Hey man, who left the toilet seat up again? The toilet seat up, the, bath the bathroom light on, every light in the house is on in the middle of the day. Toilet seat up, they go to pee, they don't aim straight, they pee all over the toilet seat, over the back of the toilet seat, on the floor, all that stuff. And I go in there and I see it and I say something. And the next time I go in, I see it, I say something. And it keeps on happening, happening. And it's like, they're not hearing me, they're not hearing me, till they want to shout. And then you start to, hey, hello, listen, Metellano, even I noticed that spike. I said, you know what? Let them go and dirty up the place. We got two bathrooms in the house. I'll keep my bathroom clean, and I'll go in and I'll clean their bathroom 
once every couple of days and teach them how to keep it clean yes but they seem to not be grasping that kind of stuff so you have to find ways to deal with your stress to where it's not going to stress you into a heart attack i understand now when my grandparents used to say "Mo, give me a heart attack you know it must stress me out you know i understand perfectly well now what that means i hear people say yeah stress out your mother so I understand now perfectly well what that means, right? So, take it, man, from me. If you are around people that you are not bringing joy to their circle, and you have people around you that are not bringing joy to your circle consistently, continuously, then you need to sever that relationship, sever the ties. It's okay to communicate with some people from a distance. It's okay to love people from a distance. It, what's not okay is to keep toxic people close to you and wake up to the toxicity every single day. Eventually, it's going to cost you your health. And that's real. Yeah? And remember, you know, health is wealth. So when the health goes, everything else goes with it. Believe me. The richest man in the world with all the money in the world. The richest woman in the world with all the money in the world. And all the material things in the world. Once their health starts to fade, they become just like everybody else. And if you ask them, they would say, I will give up everything I have just to be healthy and normal again. Yes? So with you knowing that, and that health is that important... I'm sure you have goals and dreams for yourself. You can't be around to accomplish them if you're not healthy. And in order to remain healthy, you have to keep stress out of your life. The number one killer, stress. The wrong people around you will cause you severe stress. I broke it down for you in the beginning of the video. People who are stressed don't sleep well. People who are stressed don't eat well. Don't exercise well. And don't forget to get up and get out and get some, some exercise. Sweat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Release some toxins. Today is day 26. 26? Today is day 26 or 27. I should know if I look on Instagram. Of my 30 days, no meat, no dairy, and exercise five days a week. Mantra, my thing. You know, and cleanse out a little bit. I'm supposed to be finishing this off with seven full days of just juicing. So we'll see how that goes. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling very energized. I'm feeling like I have a lot to share about living a positive life. I work in the occupational therapy field. And one thing I'll never forget, because I'm a learning person. So I want to know, if I'm working with a patient on rehabilitation from a stroke, I want to know, I ask intricate questions like, do you remember where you were when this happened? What was your lifestyle before this? Did you smoke? Did you drink a lot? Or if you did or didn't, how often did you? Uh, what were your eating habits? Did you eat a lot of red meat? Did you not eat a lot of red meat? Did you have fruits and vegetables? Did you exercise on a regular basis? In my mind, I'm jotting down things to do and things not to do. Such is life. Things are laid out before us and we can be smart and take the blueprints or we can think we know it all or I have to touch the stove for it to burn me. I don't have to touch the stove for it to burn me. Me, sister, the stove hot from we over here. So that stove is red. I'm not going over there. I don't even need to go near it. I don't, we need to see it burn my hand for me to say, oh, it's hot. Worse, if I see it burn other people, that's confirmed. First, I thought it was hot because I saw it red. Then we see it sizzle off my man the hand till it starts smoke. Me not go over there. But in life, some people need to touch the fire and get burned repeatedly. I don't understand that kind of a character of a person. Anyways, this is about stress and keeping certain things around you or leaving certain people because you owe it to yourself and to them. Even if you say, me not want nobody nothing. Okay, you owe it to yourself. And I'm talking to the people who like to stay around and stress out other people. Now, you have your reasons why you stay around, right? Some people stay with people for the things they can do for them. Some people stay with people because 
they talk a lot. You know, some people, I don't need you for nothing. I could do everything on my own, but they still stay around though, right? So go on, go do everything by your own then, right? And every day it gets a rah, 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 rah. Some of you are out there in that toxic relationship right now. Reevaluate. You see me? I'm a person like this, right? They have a saying. I would rather be extremely happy. I would rather be alone on the rooftop than to be miserable inside the big mansion. That's me. Let the sun come and burn me up and let the rain come. I'll find a way to enjoy the elements. But for going to that fancy mansion there, I know there's nothing but stress and headache in there and arguing and... No, sir. Here what? Made up on the rooftop. If I'm with a roommate... Some of that somewhere, I'm talking to everybody now, you know. If you're with a roommate somewhere and you rent a room and they're causing you toxicity, go catch at some family member yard. I'm the type of person I would sleep in my car until that lease expire. Oh, thank God the lease expire. Move my things, gone. If I can't afford to live alone, me don't know. I don't want a big apartment then. I'll go rent a room in a somebody house and share bathroom or something. But all that stuff is way better than keeping around you that toxicity that's constantly in your face every single day. I'm going to say it again. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to others to not bring a toxic energy to them or to yourself daily. Stress is the number one killer. Stress. All right? Don't make nobody stress you out. All right? Don't make nobody stress you out. I've seen people stressed out to the point where they start twitching on one side of the face and next thing you know, mouth draw that way. I've seen it with my own eyes. Mouth draw that way. And before you know it, 911, 911, he's having a stroke. He's having a stroke. All right? So... Keep the toxicity at a low level. Keep toxic energy away from you. And if you are somebody that's making somebody stressed every day, do them a favor. Leave them alone. Even if you think they need you or depend on you, leave them alone. They'll figure out another way that is less stressful to survive. And you will find it much better. Now, I know some people, they are addicted to stress and drama. So they have to have it, believe it or not. It's like a cup of tea in the morning or a cup of coffee. You know, some people have to have a cup of coffee before they start work. Some people have to have stress. And that rah, rah, rah at some point of the day, stress and drama fuels them. The endorphins go blah, 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 and they feel good. It's like taking a hit of some drug that pumps the adrenaline. And if they don't get it, they feel like they're having a withdrawal. No, man. Everything around me going too good. Everything around me, I got too good. All the bills pay. Look a man say, look a voice says, yes. Me not have no bills to pay. Me not stress. Food in the house? Yes, more than you know. More than you can handle. The person who's around me or the people who are around me, they care about me. Yes, them show you every day. No, nah, sir, forget all that. No more drama. We need something to keep me. Up. People are like that. If you find yourself around, around those kind of people, cut. Yeah? Because there's nothing you can ever do to make good with those kinds of people. Now, I'm going to finish this video by saying this. Remember, you can't change anybody. Nobody's going to change for you. People have to want to change for themselves. And remember, I talked about staying on the outside of you and looking in. At a certain point in your life, you develop that skill. If you are a reflective individual, you develop the skill, the ability to be able to look at yourself from the outside and observe your own behaviors. And you say, wow, that was nasty. I think I need to change that. Yo. If other people see it like that, or if I see it like that, I could imagine what other people see. So I'm going to do my best to try to change that part of me. You know, the journey to becoming a better person. Some people don't have that quality, don't have that skill. So they could get up every day and be the worst person ever and still think they're the best person ever. And everything is wrong with the world and everybody around them, but nothing is ever wrong with them. You can't change anybody. People have to want to change for themselves first. 
That's why I end my videos by saying self-love. Learn to love yourself and accept yourself because once you do that, then you will know what it takes to love someone else. Okay? Unconditional love for someone else. For a lot of people jumping relationship to relationship, these are the basics that could keep you grounded. Chill out for a minute. Find you. And then after you have found you, completely found you, then you can venture out into relationship. And trust me, you'll have a lasting relationship because you will be better equipped to pick a proper partner that is more suited to go long distance than all the superficial stuff that you get into a relationship for. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hit 30, 40, 50 and you're still searching for a relationship or you're alone or especially them older people that are alone and still talking about me and look for somebody. It's going to be extra hard for you. I don't care what nobody says. You know what I mean? So, hey man, I hope this does something to somebody and make somebody become self-reflecting and make somebody realize either they're stressing someone out and they need to stop or leave it or your relationship is not going to last. You might as well tick it. For those of you who are in a relationship, if every day you get up and it's an argument, argument, and y'all can't find a common ground to love and get back to love, to disagree or agree or agree to disagree and get back to loving each other, then... You might as well cross that relationship off the board. You might as well step away from it and go and reevaluate. All right? Because you're going to lose that relationship if y'all can't fix that. Remember, I'm going to tell you that. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Keep stress out of your life and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'm out. Peace.